Deutsch connectors again, but this time small DTM, really small M for mini. What means again? Yes, I have a few videos about DTP, P for power, and DT standard Deutsch connectors. So DTM, as we will find, a kind of useless. Well, okay. You will see what I mean. We will consider this on the example of doing a, a unified connection for an MIA 0183. Uh, I want to make connection here and on another side there. I will soon show you. So I have video about uh, connecting this harness to read speed on your uh, speed gauge from Mercury. It is another story. So we can see the connectors here and we will see why DTM is actually not always the best choice and you can just keep use DT. But let me show you what we have on another end. Actually at the moment when I do this one I will change my opinion about uh, that they are useless. So here coming from the box number three where we did all wiring we have this cable 2.2x075 uh, uh, millimeters for NMEA. So in the video about uh, connecting Lawrence uh, to the uh, SC1000 gauge, I explain uh, things about networks uh, and so on. And we did this in the box number three. And we have this blue cable coming from there. Yeah. And we have these two wires. So, and we need to connect him them here and here. Quite simple. We do this connection. And let me reveal immediately why DTM is a kind of useless. You should watch my previous video if you don't understand what is this uh, table about. So it's about contacts, but I will explain a little bit. So in DT you have contacts with the size 16, in DTP with 12 and more others. And in DT, DTM you have uh, contact 20. So these contacts cover, for example, 14, 16, 20. But look about the DTM and uh, contacts 20. They cover gauge 20 from 16 to 18. The same range that is covered here. Guys, period. That's it. Why do you need DTM if they cover the same range of uh, cables with less current. Well, in my opinion, the only reason why you need them a smaller size. But usually things where you apply them don't require small size. So, in my opinion, DTM is a kind of useless. But because I bought so much stuff to test them, I will do this together with you and I will use DTM anyway here. Let's take a look. And first we need to decide where uh, what is called the receptacle uh, goes. Here or there. And where will go what is called the plug. Yeah. So how we decide. Uh, usually the rule is that you should use receptacle. In that case receptacle in Deutsch connectors has open contacts that you can touch. You should use this on the side that is not energized when uh, uh, connection is open yeah because on the plug side you cannot touch contacts so and you should use this on the side where you have voltage on the contacts where when i they are disconnected in some cases you have voltage on both both sides in some cases i think on neither side i'm not sure but uh, for example here in in mia it's not clear where we have voltage on that side on the both side or on both and actually it's about small signals it's more or less doesn't matter so the second factor to decide where you put the receptacle and plug again about open connection where you want to protect against dust and moisture where you will have open connection uh, let's say outdoor and uh, here you it's about what kind of dust cup or other cup protection uh, they offer and in case of DTM actually 
we are limited in uh, just dust cups and they don't work actually quite well against moisture for 3 and 12 pin only connectors so it's again um, not a factor to decide so we just choose where we like to have what side what side of connector so it's up to you in that case now about sealing uh, in dtm we only have an seal what it is about so it's about the outside uh, insulation diameter of your cable which is that one so we have two millimeters here and i know that more or less will be the same on the board side because cables of such uh, uh, gauge they are about uh, this diameter insulation so dtm offer just one and seal that is about the ceiling here about these holes if you want to make it right and have actually ip67 or actually 68 69k something like that you should follow these things otherwise if you don't follow then you don't need this contact why do you need so awesome contacts if you don't follow specification yeah in dt for example you have n and e seal and yes you really need to think about all the time uh, some uh, num num diameters are crossed here in both but some are not so here it's easy i'm here on the bench not in the board so i first think about what i choose for this side and i choose uh, what is called plug why because i want to use receptacle on the board side we will get back later to this but now we are here so receptacle i have two options only two options i bought and uh, it is the same part number, almost the same, DTM062S, this is for mouse, so, and here also DTM062S, M for mini, and this says about that is plug and that it has two pins. And here we have modification, here no modification, it's the basic, the basic one has this grommet not protected and it will tend to pop out like here i don't recommend you to use this never buy the basic one i don't know why someone would need maybe because of the price so i don't consider this way i don't know why i bought it so we have just one left e003 we look at the documentation and in case of DTM, we actually don't need documentation much because we are only in N seal. So uh, it just says about gray color and short cup. That is the cup. It holds the grommet from pop out. And I recommend you to take always with that cup. You can also use the cup with the, for the shrinking tube. Well, let's get back to this later. That is quite fine solution that we will fit here. And now, step by step, we first talk about contacts that go to here. That is where you will do a lot of mistakes, as I do always. Uh, it's kind of complicated, except DTP, where it's more or less easy, easy because we just have one contact there. So the contacts, yeah. For DTM, we have size 20 contacts here and for what is called the plug we need the contact that is called socket so 20 socket and then we look what kind of cables we use we are within this range so that is our cell uh, so that that is our contact here you have the material 31 for the gold one for one for nickel uh, i couldn't buy gold for uh, dtm so it's nickel and here we have that part number that one so that is the socket contact for the plug uh, on the short side you put your cable you crimp your cable and to this side uh, uh, the opposite contact will go for stripping we again follow documentation that one where we have 
the size of contacts, cables, and how much we should strip. So in 20, we are here in this range. So to satisfy this requirement, yeah, we want to follow all these things. Otherwise, why we need this nice connector? So you can use the tool something like that, but in my experience, you later need anyway to check on the cable and adjust, just cut or strip more. And finally, to lock the plug here on the contact side, we have this wedge lock uh, WM2S. It's simple. So we have three components, the plug, the socket contacts for the plug and the wedge lock. Let's do it. I've seen I was needed to adjust, check and adjust. Yeah, that's quite normal. Then we go on the crimping, and that's the tool, and only this tool. No Chinese, please. Of course, you can buy a Chinese tool, Chinese connector, and do made in China. We are speaking about Deutsch connectors, not about Chinese connectors. Yeah, so Nihao uh, Ma. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, we put the contact. How to use this tool? Yeah, it's quite easy. We put the contact there. In that case, it's small contact. So first, I put this green yeah, here. So and we adjust this uh, green one. So that the contact, when you push it, when you push the contact, is on the same level with that surface. And then, so let me check it once again, yeah. And then we lock the nut. And here we set the cable. Unfortunately, we don't know the cable gauge here. But I guess it is 0 0.75. I, I guess it's not a gauge 16 and not 0 0.5. Well... The guess is bad here. We should know the right gauge to make the right crimping. So it's quite a bad situation, but that's what we have. Now the crimping. Uh, look, it's not exactly good crimping. Uh, so it should be in the middle because I think I need to adjust the tool uh, to have the contact deeper. I will do this now and do better crimping here. You can imagine how Chinese tool would do this. Do nothing probably. I still don't like it. Well, I have more experience with DT and DTP, and I really feel that the smaller gauge, the worse uh, uh, result and worked with it. Well, I think uh, the tool needs to be used a bit different, and I'm, I have to make uh, the contact there deeper in the tool. Well, I decided to uh, fix it and make it right. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit different to work with small contacts. You first need to adjust the tool to fix the contact this way there. Check where the crimping area will be. Uh, one do one crimping, check the result, and then you have the tool set to the right. Uh, position. Yeah, a little bit different than with DT and DTM, E and DTP. And now assembly, it's quite simple. You push the contact there until you hear the click 
and then put the wedge lock and uh, you have numbers here I like to use two for the ground and we have blue as the ground here yeah And guys, uh, well, we did it and I really like it. I changed my opinion about DTM. It looks really neat here. That small little stuff. We have real IP6 something like 8, 9 protection here. No problem with vibration. Yeah, so and looks like they have a key by default. We will soon know this when we do the opposite side. But really, I have changed my opinion about DTM. It's really neat, yeah. And now we need to select the corresponding part in on the board side. Yeah, well, I have just two options, yeah. They are DTM 042P, DTM 042P, this modification E03 and E003. We can, of course, check with the manual what does it mean, but because here we don't have any seal, uh, seal retention things, it's quite clear what it is. I just explain you. Uh, this modification is about black color and uh, this cup for the shrinking tube. And that's about gray color and short cup that hold this grommet. Actually, you can put the shrinking tube even on this one. And I don't want to use that one. Just my preference, gray on gray. Yeah, well, I select this one. And now about contacts. It's also now become simple. Well, no, not, not that simple. For, for the receptacle, you have to use what is called pin contacts we have 075 cables there so we have that one and 141 for nickel so we have that part number and the wedge lock is that one vm2p all part numbers are in the description so i'm ready to go with that to the board uh, i think you have seen the process so just enjoy time lapse or maybe not time lapse let's see i decided not to show the crimping stripping process so here i have i decided to mark takes on the first one ground on the second one Uh, guys, you have seen, I assembled this somewhere here. Actually, I lost this uh, video from my phone. So I record this ending from scratch. Yeah, but you have seen the connector. So that's basically it. Uh, please, guys, like, make your comments and especially subscribe. Because I don't know if you like my content. If it is important for someone... If there is no comments, no subscriptions, yeah, YouTube like ha ha he he content, so they don't promote how to things, and only your subscriptions and comments will probably push the video. Uh, if you think it is interesting, it can be interesting for others. If you don't think so, let me know in comments why, and I stop posting this shit.